Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to talk about in this video when the appropriate time is to insert each of these airway adjuncts. Now, I've done separate videos on inserting OPA and as well as another video on inserting MPA, and I talk about how to measure and insert both these devices uh, individually. But in this video, I want to focus more on the gag reflex part of this because this is a hard, rigid airway J frame that goes into the patient's mouth opens behind the tongue and opens the airway. This is for someone obviously who cannot protect their own airway. This goes into the nose and will typically bypass the gag reflex. So how do you determine if someone has a gag reflex? Well that's what this video is all about. So in this video I want to talk about how to determine if someone has a gag reflex or not because if you insert this into someone's mouth and they still have an intact gag reflex they're going to puke on you. So you're putting this into someone who has an altered level of consciousness that's not able to protect their airway you put this in and they vomit, that's a real issue. So this may be the better choice, but this also does a really good job of protecting the airway. So I'm going to talk to you about how to determine if someone has an intact gag reflex. So you have someone who's unconscious and you're trying to choose which airway adjunct to insert. This one goes into the mouth, this one goes into the nose. So we're going to determine if our patient has an intact gag reflex. There's two ways to do this and both of them operating on the cranial nerves. Now the gag reflex and the eye reflex is not the same cranial nerves, but they're close in nature. So if the patient has lost their eye reflex, like he's blinking his eyes right there, then they typically do not have an intact gag reflex. Alright, there's two ways to determine if he has an intact gag reflex. One, we take our finger and we touch his eyelashes. See his eyelashes flicker like that? That's letting me know that he still has an intact gag reflex. Okay. The other way is to tap on the forehead, just like that, just a simple tap. And you see how his eyes are flickering and moving? Then he still has an intact gag reflex, meaning that if I inserted this OPA into his mouth, he's going to vomit. So I could go with a, obviously a smaller MPA and insert an MPA into his airway. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.